So um, one of the reasons I might want to extract a letter as a char is that I can actually do math on it because chars actually behind the scene, they have these things called ASCII values, which means they're sort of interchangeable with integers. They have numbers that are assigned to them. So if I um, say pull out the first uh, letter from this string and I print it, but as I print it, I can cast it to an integer it'll show me what that ASCII value is. So if I run this thing, then it's going to show me that a lowercase a has the value 97, and actually an uppercase a has a different value, which is kind of why when we compare two strings, if it's uppercase and lowercase, they're different. So if I run this and I check on a capital A, it's got the ASCII value 65. So because I can sort of switch back and forth between numbers and letters, I can use math on chars, which is why I want to pull stuff out as a char instead of as a string. And I can do like shifts mathematically to sort of do um, encryption or decryption. That's really simple. So what I could do, for example, is I could pull out this char that's the first letter, and I could add to it. So if I have um, an A and I add one to it, I'm going to just guess, and I'm going to be correct, that it would change it into a B. Now, because this is actually still a char type, I need to do some casting. So I need to switch this guy to an int, and then I need to uh, cast the entire result of the math back to a char so that I can save it in my variable. Okay, so if I do that, and let me take this cast off so you can see what letter it turns into. So it's going to extract this letter right here, this A, oops, this A, because that's the char at zero. It's going to automatically, um, well, it's going to cast it to an integer, and that's going to turn it into ASCII value 65. It's going to add a 1 to it, which will make it ASCII value 66, cast it back to a char, which is going to be an uppercase B. So let me do that. And you will see that, yes, indeed. So if I take a capital A and add 1 to it, it becomes a capital B. Um, and this is true across all machines, so your ASCII values are always going to be the same. If you go on Google and Google ASCII values or ASCII table, you're going to find a listing of all the values so you can check and see um, what the different numbers from each letter are if you can't just figure that out based on what A is. So that is why I want to be able to extract a letter as a char.